Hey guys, welcome to George Defined. Are you carrying too much on your EDC? Are you weighing yourself down? Let's talk about my level one EDC. Stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, welcome to George Defined. Let's talk about my everyday carry or EDC. This is the items that you carry on your body all the time. And these are the items that I carry on my body all the time. I've gone through a lot of different setups and I found that these items are the best for me. Everybody's gonna have a different everyday carry setup or EDC setup level one, but these items I've tested and I recommend them. Let's start with the phone and the phone case. This is the Under Armour Plasma phone case. I'm shooting this video right now on my Note 8. You can see this is for the Note 8. Great phone case, guys. Got it in this chartreuse color. I love fishing. This one's proven. Drop my phone, and it comes up with an intact screen almost every time. <laughs> I'll say almost every time, knock on wood, because I've cracked a lot of screens. Not necessarily in this phone case, though. When I've had this one on, it's protected my phone every time. Don't want to pay that $30 insurance to have my screen replaced to Verizon every time I drop it. So I invested in a nice phone case. This is my wallet. Pretty much basic leather wallet, black leather wallet. Not going to open it up because it has my credentials inside and that's my business. But get yourself a nice leather wallet, molds to your body. You can see this one's been broken in and it carries everything that I need to carry. Driver's license, credit cards, pictures, and my credentials. Leather wallet. These are my keys, guys. Very simple, very light. No need to carry multiple knives, big flashlights. It's kind of ridiculous. Right here, this is the uh, alarm fob for the house. This is a crowbar, little mini crowbar. Great little crowbar. I use this to open up boxes, pry up little nails, Anything I don't want to use my knife for, to dull my knife. It's my truck key. I drive a Ram 1500 Laramie. Nice truck. Super nice truck, guys. This is my flashlight. It gives me enough light for me to get in the house, for me to look under my truck if there's something... Um, I need to check out really quickly in the dark. This is the Nightcore tube. It's got this button right here. It gives you two modes. That's the low. And that's the high. And this will light up a good area. It's becoming fall right now. And you need a good flashlight because it gets dark earlier. It's also USB chargeable. So once it runs down, I throw it on the charger, any USB connection, mini USB, and charge it up. This is a pill bottle. I keep aspirin in here just for emergencies. If I get a headache, my wife gets a headache, I got some aspirin on me at all times. 
this right here, this little brass plate is from a back of a seat, back of a school seat. I got this from Morgan State University my freshman year in my undergraduate program. Go Bears, go HBCUs. This is the Leatherman Squirt PS4. It's gonna to be tough for me to open it up, so I'm gonna pause the video and show you the tools inside. Back. These are the main tools that I use inside the Leatherman Squirt. I use the blade, opening up mail, boxes, cutting rope, anything I need a blade for, this little blade can do it. Unless I'm like filleting a fish, then I'll go get the proper tool. These little scissors, great little sharp scissors, can cut fishing line, um, paper, they're, they work great. They have a little spring in, um, inside there, if you see, can see it. Returns them back to their open position every time. And then have a little pliers right here. And these pliers also work great. Great little um, jimping inside the pliers. They'll grab hold and I can put it pretty good amount of pressure on them. They also have a wire cutter and you can see that I've used it. Great little tool, the PS4. Has some other features like a nail file and um, some screwdrivers, but I don't use those as much. Uh, usually if I need a screwdriver, I go get a, a proper screwdriver. That would be my last resort. I have it on a clip so that if I go into a uh, building that doesn't allow knives, then I can take it off. I work in the city. I'm in and out of buildings that don't allow knives to be carried. So I don't carry. Them. Cover everything. Yes, I did. Those are my keys. Next thing is my vape. This is the Vapresso Taro Nano. Great little vape. I've had it for about a year. And it works flawlessly, guys. It has a built-in battery. You can vape it on wattage or temperature mode. Put this little rubber band around it just to protect the tank. And it never lets me down. It usually lasts me all day on one charge. Small enough that I can fit it in my pocket and no one ever knows I have it. My vape. The next thing is my watch. This is the Samsung Gear S3. They just came out with a new gear and I don't see the point of switching. This one works for me great has all the apps that I need. It keeps track of my steps. So I'm able to use Android Pay on it. So it's great. Right now it's displaying the, the date, the weather, the battery, and the time. These bands are replaceable. They actually have um, small little pins in the back where you just pull them and you can um, switch out the bands. I use this for my steps, figure out how many steps I do on a daily basis. My target is 10,000. I also have some different bands for the watch. I have a blue one. I have an orange one. And I have a red one. It's like orangish red. So... That's pretty much all that I carry. I suggest you guys that are out there EDC and every day carrying your stuff, find you a compact setup.
you might think that you're inconspicuous with a whole lot of stuff on your person, but you're not. This setup works for me in summer. It works for me in winter. Only thing missing from this setup that I wish I could carry is a concealed carry. I live in Maryland. The concealed carry laws here are super strict. I li- I work in D.C. And you pretty much can't carry a concealed carry unless you're a law enforcement officer with arresting powers. So don't conceal carry a weapon. I have weapons, but I don't conceal carry them. Compact setup. Really like it. I've gone through a lot of different setups um, trying to find the right one. And this is the one I've been carrying for a while. You have to find out which one works for you and then apply it. Things will switch in and out. If I go um, into the woods for a weekend, uh, I usually don't bring this watch. I'll bring a Casio um, Pathfinder. And I also carry some more stuff. But the wallet stays. I might put my phone in a life proof case. And the keys will stay the same. The vape will stay the same. The only thing really changing is the watch and the phone case. So I have another video that I'm going to be doing on my level two EDC or everyday carry. And that's my backpack. I'm a commuter. So it's nice to have all of my um, additional equipment with me. When I go into the city, I'm about. 50 minutes in traffic away from my house. So I like to have, you know, some of my stuff. So I'm prepared for situations that may occur. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, like it. Um, If you have comments, questions about any of this stuff, then leave it in the comments section. I'll respond back and subscribe. I usually do uh, fishing videos, but I'm going to be doing some different stuff. Just showing you guys what I like, what I'm into. The channel's called um, George Define, and I'm going to try to show you guys as much about me as possible. Thanks for watching. Peace.